2012, U.S. Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division, 950 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. From the city of Oakland. Dear Assistant Attorney, Attorney General Thomas E. Perez, the members of the Oakland Citizens Police Review Board, CPRB, are referring and recommending an investigation into the complaints made by Mr. Ali Salim Bey and Mr. John Muhammad Bey to the Federal Department of Justice Civil Rights Division Initiative to Combat Post-9-11 Discrimination Backlash. You've been served. You know there is a federal investigation being requested connected to the murder of black journalist Chauncey Bailey, who, would, who was murdered reporting on Oakland Police Department CID chain of command's connection to Yusuf Bay IV and all the murders that happened inside our community. You have been served notice that you know about these murders in our community, and yet you turn a blind eye and you support the murderers. This is the complaint that's going. We are filing a complaint against the City of Oakland Police Department, former Chief Tucker, Assistant Chief Jordan, Deputy Chief Lohman, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Ursi Joyner, and Sergeant Duran Longmire, AKA Chain of Command of the City of Oakland Police Department. We charge the City of Oakland Police Chain of Command with misconduct while serving as City of Oakland law enforcement. We demand a thorough CPRB investigation and referral of criminal findings to proper local, state, and federal law enforcement for investigation. We came here in July, and we told you we wanted an investigation of 07-0538, which is an IAD complaint. IAD complaint is under the NSA, and it's supposed to be under federal monitor. We gave this information to the federal monitor in March. He has not reported that. You can report Occupy that's associated with MOR violations that are less than murders and, and kidnapping and torture in, inside our community, but you can't report an IAD? This doesn't make any sense. When we get to the point when the feds do come down and begin to ask each one of you individually what you knew beforehand, this will fall under the conspiracy to deprive people of their civil rights inside our community. It's tantamount to ethnic cleansing. You remove 250 black Muslims out the Golden Gate District of Oakland through an illegal post 9-11 covert action against black Muslims in which they helped Yusuf Bey IV, stood down while Chauncey Bailey was murdered, suppressed his story, which has never been published to this day. Has anybody up there read Chauncey Bailey's last story or read what the white corporate media wrote about a black journalist writing about black Muslims in Oakland. Uh, good evening, Council. As you see, we won't stop. And I'm sorry, if you could give me your name. My so name is John Bay. John Bay. Thank you so much. You also have a maximum of okay. six minutes Sounds just to good. place it on record. We're not saying believe us, but check us versus your police department, and you'll find out who's telling the truth. That's all we're saying. These things that we witness from the public safety, it's all fun, but money's going out. Lawsuit settlements, money's going out. It's been a while since I've attended council so frequently. And now I see where the problems with the police department start. They start here because you haven't held the chief accountable. Howard Jordan is, is uh, a victim of the Peter Principle, which means he basically reached his level of incompetence, where he's no longer competent to function in the job that he's in. He may have been a great shift leader or a great sergeant, but he's not a competent chief. He's been at the table when most of these settlements have been made, as I said before. The $57 million, he's been in leadership throughout all the different types of corruption that officers are accused of go to the top because he hasn't done his job and disciplined his officers. 
One of the things that has never been mentioned again, as uh, Salim said, in the whole Chauncey Bailey investigation was about Officer Andre Rachel. <clears throat> His brother is a high-level uh, official. I believe he's maybe head of Area 1 and uh, formerly head of CID. Andre is now a district attorney investigator. So after he did his time on OPD, retired, now he's an investigator within the DA. When we immediately reported Wajid Bay missing in 2004, Andre was the first officer on the scene along with the FBI. So from February 28, 2004, high levels of OPD, Andre Rachel, at that time Homicide Sergeant Crutchfield, and the FBI came to take the initial statement. So from that point forward, they all knew what was going on. Andre said he reported directly to Chief Tucker. We know that through the chain of command of Ursi to Captain Lomont, that Longmire was also reporting to the chief. We know at 2005, November 28th, immediately after that liquor store nonsense, and three months after the first terrorist case against Yusuf Bay IV for carjacking and brandishing a shotgun, that OPD knew because Andre was at that meeting. Jordan was at that meeting. Loman was at that meeting. Arena was at that meeting. It was held not in o Oakland Police Headquarters. It was held at FBI Headquarters on Grand, also attended by two FBI officers. The day before Yusuf uh, Bay IV came to turn himself in, and at that meeting is where Loman originally gave the special treatment to Yusuf Bay IV while Jordan is sitting, while FBI is in attendance and hosting the meeting. Why would they be hosting? Because in 2002, the Oakland Police Department, through court depositions, requested FBI assistance. And Andre Rachel was the bakery expert within the police department, the one who knew he was head of subversive groups, Your Black Muslim Bakery in particular. For me to be here tonight, I must not have a criminal record. I have no warrants. I'm wanted in no counties or states. I've been to the police department several times. Many police officers know me. Many of you know me. I'm not afraid of my criminal record because I don't have one. So all we have said is look into what the police knew and what the police were involved in. We didn't come tripping. We consistently attended your meetings. We filled out your papers. We've sent emails. We've harassed you in the hallway. We've seen you here. Wherever we've seen you or staff that we know, we stopped him, asked him, what's going on with that? Why does it matter now? Because my brother died in this. They don't even investigate the case of Wajib Bay, directly connected to Chauncey. Kidnapped. Did they get convicted of kidnapping? Kidnapping, yes. I was shot with a shotgun. Did they have a shotgun? What, what was the murder weapon? Shotgun that the whole world saw these kids take. And supposedly Longmire's his buddy and you never even asked him off the record, man, give me the shotgun. It'll go a long way towards making you look good. So my brother was killed in this. They turned a blind eye. They told me there was one piece of hair DNA. Of all the murders ever in Oakland, this is the one that only had one hair of DNA and supposedly if they test it and they don't find a match, the evidence is gone, so we just gotta leave it where it is. That's a bunch of crap. We know how bad the evidence lab has been historically. The change that needs to be made, since the change is also coming to the council, the change that needs to be made is Howard Jordan must be removed from the position he's in because he is not competent or he's a criminal. That's all there is. Thank you.